Welcome back to Dave's Post-Apocalyptic World. Today we are replacing our iPhone 7 Plus battery. The last time we did this was about eight or nine months ago, and there's a video about it. So it still works fine, except that when it reaches like 35% or 30%, once in a while it's starting to do a thing where it just shuts off. And so it tells me that it might be getting a little bit weak. And I bought a new kit, which is only like $25. And it includes all sorts of tools and the battery that should supposed to last longer. And we're going to see if we can quickly replace it, like in one take. Uh, last time it took like half an hour, but this time it should only take a few minutes. Because everything's been kind of done already. I reviewed the last video, which is right here. Um, if we waited a lot longer with this battery, it's possible that it would reach a point where it, it would reach like 20% or 10% and then turn off. And then maybe it would turn back on again and then maybe it wouldn't. And then we have to play around with the whole hair dryer, which can work. But in this case, we're going to try to just preemptively replace it. This is 2021. We're getting close to the end of the pandemic. and. It'd be nice to know that you can just replace your iPhone battery quickly without it being too much of a big deal. So here we go. And as I go along, I'll point out some, some pitfalls from last time. So the first thing that I kind of forgot last time, you want to start by turning off the phone itself. I forgot to do that last time. And there's a few types of screwdrivers that come with this kit and a suction cup and a little wedgie tool and a little thing tool put that all over here and maybe a screen cover don't know so let's get to it we turned on the phone turned off the phone so by what i remember we're going to start by opening the end of the phone here if i get my camera zoomed in on it these little screws here, okay, with, okay, great, I don't even need the screwdriver with it. So ready, set, go. Here I laid down some white paper, which would make it a little bit easier. So once we have these screws open, I think we're going to use a suction cup. Ooh. So we'll start from the the bottom. We'll wedge it from the bottom. Looks like that's the way to open up the phone. Okay, so this might look familiar to some of us. There's our phone. There's our battery. So maybe we don't have to take everything out today. I remember we take out this front thing here. Use a little screwdriver. And we'll keep track of all of our screws here. These look short and there's three of them. I could actually do a drawing of where everything is, but you know, we're pros at this by now, right? Am I right? So we'll take this chip out. Remove it this way. So there's our battery. So there's three types of little screw heads. There's like a, you know how like a Phillips screwdriver has, it's like a cross. So here we also have one that's not a cross, but it's a, a triple. This is the triple here, I think. And these are not, these screwdrivers are made just for this. So it's not like you can really get a generic toolkit so it's good that it comes with the battery like 
that. Uh, okay, this was key right here to take out because this is where the battery is going to plug in, it looks like. So we're going to take this tool now. This goes here. So I think at this point the battery is free. But our problem is that last time we kind of messed up and now the battery is kind of stuck in there. And I don't know what we're going to do about that. So we'll try to wedge out the battery and I can hear it pulling. Yes, that would be good. That would be great if it just came out like that. I think we got it. I think we did it. Came out and there's the old battery. There's the new battery. The new battery is, well, 30. 800 mAh, the old battery is 35, so that was a success that we could take that out. And so much so that we're actually maybe just gonna I don't know, I'm not sure, but that's what we're going to try to do. So that next time we should be able to just pull on these tabs. So we'll give it a shot. It's not the end of the world. And whoops. We already want to take away. Let's pop this one in here, I think. Ah, I want to hear a click. I did not hear a click, but it seems comfortably seated. And we'll just let it drop, right? Okay, in theory we have a new battery. It only took like, as you saw, two minutes. Supposedly everything's plugged in. Okay. It is odd that I come out with more screws than I started. We're very happy that things look okay. And I think we start we're supposed to close it up starting from the front, working our way back. Okay, nice and tight. And we'll clean it all up with a nice isopropyl pad. Finally are the two little end pieces. And that's all there is to it. So we've replaced our iPhone 7 Plus battery. It was, it gets easier. I just realized that this thing here is actually the gasket that I could replace that goes inside. I'm not going to replace it because it seems tight enough. I don't expect to go swimming with it. Plus, next time we replace it, if we're lucky enough to still have this nice phone in a year or two, it'll be that much easier to open without a, a new gasket. So I'm very happy with this. I'll put a link below as to what kit this was, but again, they're pretty generic kits. They all come with the wedging tools, the tweezers, the various screwdrivers, and the battery for about 25 bucks. It's a great project. It'll make you more comfortable with your electronics and a great thing to know in the post-apocalyptic world. And we'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. And next time on this post-apocalyptic world, we're gonna have some other great adventures in this ice fishing tent that we can take up on the roof or cook in it or go on some great outdoor adventures. And we'll see you next time on this post-apocalyptic world. <laughs>